the last 10 years, of course, we've had this transformation of our genetic tools, particularly with the discovery of CRISPR, this um, technique by which you can very, very precisely edit DNA and change it, and it's something that is now done in labs all around the world on all sorts of different organisms. It is also being used now clinically in humans, I would point out, but thus far, not in a way that is heritable. So people are doing CRISPR editing of DNA, but not in the cells that you will pass on to your offspring, not on your egg cells, your sperm cells. So what we're doing at the moment, clinically, is using it to treat things in tissues of someone who's already got a disease. But potentially, there is no problem, there's no barrier to using this to edit sperm and egg cells, and therefore to create babies that have a different genetic complement. That raises all sorts of interesting and challenging ethical questions. So for example, many of us in the room, certainly myself, would say that this process um, has huge benefits, particularly for what we call monogenic serious diseases.